Hey everybody, this is Greg with Year of the Dad Gaming. Uh, today we are going to show you some basic automation. Um, in Craftopia, automation is key to not having to grind out so much, th so many things. So one of the things that you can automate is uh, mining iron ore and then turning it into iron ingots. Uh, iron ingots are the base to a lot of weapons, to cogwheels, to steel. Um, you just need a lot of iron in the game. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to uh, harvest iron and just kind of automate it on your home base. Um, so here I am on my home base. This is an island of the cove. And if you're on this little bitty island back here... Up here around A2, there's lots of uh, deposits that you can just put an excavator on and let it run and harvest lots of, lots of iron or silver or copper if you need it. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is some ex excavators. Can't say that word tonight. So you want to drop it where you can get two of these on here. And drop one there. And this mono is going to come and bother me. So we are going to shoo him away. Okay, you kind of got to watch where they're spitting out the ore. So they're spitting out this way, so I need to build my platform out that way a little bit more. I'd like to keep this all nice and even. Let's see if this works. There we go. All right. One more platform. Okay. So now they're all kind of pulling in that same spot. So now you know where you need to set up the next part, which is to get a chest. Not that. Um, we're going to set it up about right here with an absorber on it and about right there and then you kind of see that we're starting to absorb all that it'll even start absorbing before it hits the ground so now this chest is going to just collect all of the iron ore that these excavators are harvesting um, so the next thing you want to do is you want to get you a stone furnace and I'm going to set that up right behind the chest and you're going to use a craft connector. You're going to put the craft connector on the chest pointing toward the stone furnace. So now you can see it's got a little beam of light um, so they can actually connect to each other. And now you'll notice down here, instead of just crafting, I can auto craft. And I'm going to set, make sure hit Y to set to infinity. So essentially that's just going to keep crafting until I run out of resources. Um, so I'm going to auto craft. And there it goes. So it's starting to craft, and it's only going to craft one at a time. So I'm going to put a dropper. And let's get a dropper. Let's try to get it straight out as we can. This is going to be difficult. There we go. So now we can see those are shooting right back there. Shoot that mono away. Okay, so we can kind of see they're sh kind of shooting all over the place. So you may have to set up two chest. Um, we'll set up two just to kind of get a better coverage area. And then once we get those chests down, we will set up some absorbers on those. One there. Let's put one there. And then we will put one more right 
here to kind of get in the middle just in case. And that should cover most of it. Oh. So we've got an absorber getting a little too close to starting to get some of the iron ore, but that's okay. Um, it'll produce, two of these will produce plenty of iron ore to keep this busy. A few will get stuck in here. Looks like another one got past. So let's set up a wall. Set up some walls to kind of divide this out. Maybe this will keep us from... There we go. That should keep things confined. And you may have to occasionally come back here and pick up some that go flying past. I could probably also scoot these back a little further and that might help out a little bit. But as you can see, um, the excavators are producing the iron ore. They're mining it. Goes into this chest, which triggers the stone furnace. And then that spits it out for my chest to start collecting. And as you can see, I've already got eight in that one. Don't have any in that one. Um, so I might be able to adjust this one. Let's just adjust this real quick. Let's put it back here just a little bit. I'll put the absorber on there. And there we go. That should catch any of the ones that kind of got by the other ones. And there you have it. You just let this uh, keep generating while you're doing other things on your home base. Uh, if you make a out of the code home base, I could fully recommend it. There's uh, some good NPCs that spawn here. Um, you've got uh, three that spawn here. You got merchants that spawn in several places. There's um, you know a good number of dungeons on this island. Lots of resources. So this is really a good place to set up a home base and uh, stage everything that you need to stage from here. Um, this is everything for tonight. Uh, if uh, you got any questions, let us know in the comments. If uh, you enjoy this video, you get something out of this, then you know make sure you like uh, the video. Um, give us a subscribe, please. It helps us grow the channel, keeps us going, and uh, keeps helps people find the channel, the more people that subscribe to us. And if uh, you have any questions or you've seen anything else in the game that confuses you or that you need help with, uh, just let us know, drop us a comment, and we'll try to help you out. And thanks for always for watching.